Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at modal harmony, what that even means, and how you can use it to take your songwriting to the next level. Now, the term may sound a little advanced or complicated, modal harmony, like we're talking about some sort of complex jazz theory. But it's actually not as crazy as it might seem, and we're going to start by understanding the term itself. Modal harmony just means you play chords built from various modes. But to show you what I mean, let's unpack that a bit using the major scale, also known as the Ionian mode, as our example. And we'll use the C major scale specifically. This pattern, the major scale pattern, is the basis of most music we hear today, because the scale is the source of the other patterns that make up a song, including the melody and harmony of a song. The melody is really just a permutation of the scale pattern, playing some or all of its notes in sequence, but rearranged into different patterns that rise and fall in pitch in time with the beat. So for example, we can play this C major scale and rearrange and repeat some of the notes to make this little melody. It's nice, right? I mean, it's not Bach or the Beatles, but that's how melodies are formed, derived from the underlying source scale. And the harmony, or the chords of a song, also come from this scale, but in a different way. Instead of rearranging the notes and playing them one after the other, like in a melody, you build chords in a more structured way by playing some notes together at the same time. And there's a logic or a pattern to how the notes in a chord are grouped, using tertian intervals, or intervals of major and minor thirds. It's easy, actually, because these intervals of a third are formed just by combining every other note in the major scale. And when you do this, seven different chords are formed, including C major, which starts on scale degree one of this major scale, and you skip D to play E, which is a major third above C, and then skip F to play G, which is a minor third above E. So together, these three notes, C, E, G, sound harmonious. Then starting on scale degree two of this major scale, we can play every other note to form another chord, D minor, and so on, to form seven distinct chords, seven different harmonies. Now, if you want to dive into chord construction, I have some other videos that go into way more detail on this, and there's a link below. But the point here is that the scale, the major scale, is used to create both melodies and chords. And these chords in particular, these harmonies, are easily derived from the scale by combining every other note. And this is where it gets really interesting. Because another name for the major scale is the Ionian mode. So when we create chords or harmonies like this from the major scale, we essentially just picked apart its modal harmony, all the harmonies or chords that come from the Ionian mode. That's what modal harmony means, deriving the seven harmonies from this mode. But what's really cool is that there are also seven different modes in music that also stem from the major scale. And they essentially work like this. While the major scale, or Ionian mode, sounds nice, musicians also sometimes use it to form other modes where each one just begins and ends on a different scale degree in this pattern, but playing the same set of notes in between. So for example, instead of playing the C Ionian mode like this, we can play all of the same notes but starting on D to form the D Dorian mode, which has a slightly different sound due to the variation in the intervals between the pitches in this pattern. Then starting on E, we have the E Phrygian mode, which also sounds unique, or the F Lydian mode, the G Mixolydian mode, the A Aeolian mode, or the B Locrian mode. These seven different modes, all named after different regions in ancient Greece, each have a unique sound, and musicians use these sounds and the moods they conjure up to create a range of musical styles. And you can play these modes, these same modal patterns, starting on any note in any key. Like in the key of C, for example, where we can start each one on a C note to play what are called parallel modes because the beginning and ending notes in each are aligned or parallel. So we have in this example C Ionian, C Dorian, C Phrygian, C Lydian, C Mixolydian, C Aeolian, and C Locrian. 
again, each one sounds unique because of the different interval patterns that are formed, but to really hear the differences between them, to emphasize and flesh out the distinct sound of each, we can also build out the various chords that are formed from these modes, which we do in the same way as before by starting on each separate scale degree and then combining every other note to create different tertian harmonies of major third and minor third intervals. For example, looking at the C Dorian mode, the interval pattern is one, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven, eight. And when we move through this pattern, combining every other note as we go, seven chords are formed. C minor, D minor, E flat major, F major, G minor, A diminished, B flat major, and then back to C minor. Using Roman numerals, which is a system for labeling chords that I explain in another video, these same seven chords can also be called minor one, minor two, flat major three, major four, minor five, diminished six, flat major seven, before returning to minor one again. Likewise, looking at the C Phrygian mode, we can build out yet another set of harmonies using the same idea of combining every other note to get these seven chords. By constructing these chords, these harmonies from this mode, this is what we mean by modal harmony, where these harmonies really amplify the mood or sound of the underlying mode. And going through the other modes in the same way, seven tertian harmonies are derived from each one. From the C Lydian mode, this interval pattern results in these chords that together emphasize the distinct sound of the Lydian mode. Then based on the C Mixolydian mode, we have these seven chords. And based on the C Aeolian mode, we get these harmonies. And finally, from the C Locrian mode, these seven chords are formed. So when people say modal harmony, this is what they're talking about. The different harmonies that you can play in each mode, modal harmony. And the reason all of this is important is because these chords really do expand your palette as a songwriter. Since the same patterns form in all 12 keys, giving you a more varied harmonic topography in the soundscape of music, which we can use to create some really cool stuff. And to really explore these harmonies in each mode, we'll look at each in turn in this series. So in one video, we'll focus on the chords in the Dorian mode, how they sound together, and some especially satisfying chord progressions you can play with those harmonies. Then in another video, we'll focus on the chords of the Phrygian mode to get a feel for how these harmonies can be used in songwriting, and so on, looking at each one. So thank you for watching. Modal Harmony can definitely take your music to the next level. It's some really good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.